Hey folks, how you guys doing? Hope you are all doing rather well. Uh, it's been a short work week here in the shop for me. Uh, as a matter of fact, the past four weeks have been pretty crazy. Over the past four weeks, I spent more time away from my house traveling than I have here in the shop. So uh, I did have a short week this week and instead of starting in on a project, I figured it'd be a good opportunity to just take the rest of the week to reorganize the shop, move some stuff around, some stuff, some, make some changes that I've been wanting to make for quite a while now, and that way when next week starts, I have a fresh start and a fresh, clean, inviting canvas to work on. So that's exactly what I did this week. I moved some stuff around. I'll get into all of the details as I walk around talking about it, uh, but before I do so, let me show you some overall pictures, uh, just overall pictures of the shop right now. Uh, it's a little bit difficult for me to walk around with my normal camera because there's no autofocus in video mode So instead I'll switch over to my cell phone real quick and walk you through the shop All right, so as you can see um, some some changes have been made and I guess I'll just walk around the room give a whole shop tour while I'm at it uh, This side over here this entire wall nothing changed really uh, still have the miter saw station over here. I contemplated several several times Moving this to that wall, just never got around to, you know, putting a uh, action into plan or plan into action. So instead, the miter saw station stays over here, and these two machines, uh, the two carts, the drill press cart with my grinder, and my shop vac cyclone cart. This is a happy little area that pretty much can't get any more optimized than that. So they've been there for a while and they're going to stay there. The only thing that I did over here is my ladders used to be stored up here on top, but uh, they needed to move so I could use this space. So the other options were to hang them from the bottom of my shelf, but I can't reach up there. So I'd have to, I'd have to climb up on top of here to get the ladders down, to put the ladders down here so I can climb on top of the ladders to get up there. That doesn't really make much sense, so hanging them from underneath there uh, is not what I did. I instead took the ladder that I used the most, rested this side on top of the step, pushed up against the wall as far as it could go, and you can see the uh, foundation wall over here sticks out into the shop a little bit. So I just set it on the floor right there and bungee corded the top, and it's, it's happily out of the way and extremely accessible. It's not really held into place by anything other than that little tiny bungee cord, which I can remove and use it. So that's all I did over here and put all my figured hardwoods up on top of there. So uh, I got all those in the Wisconsin trip and I'm looking forward to cutting them up. So what did I do? Well, I changed the table saw around. I spun it around and made a dedicated outfeed table for it and then moved the outfeed slash assembly table to the middle of the shop going this way. And it is now a dedicated assembly table. And what's cool about this is um, it gives me complete access all the way around this table, which is great because I could only use one side of it previously. And it creates more walkways in here. Uh, now, if you see something missing, it's because the plywood cart that was over there, I got rid of it. I gave it away to somebody locally and it's just not as sure it's convenient to have a bunch of plywood on hand, but I, I value the space more than I value the convenience of the plywood. So what I did have left on that cart, uh, I broke it down a little bit to go underneath here. So I do have a bunch of plywood stored under here. They're not full sheets because they won't fit under there, but I prefer this method, uh, this route so far a whole lot better, a whole lot more. <clears throat> So I got rid of the cart and I built a little uh, outfeed table as a dedicated small table. I'm not going to go into much detail on this because I used the design uh, that we came up with in Wisconsin. I just scaled it to fit my needs, uh, but I will have a video on a very similar table to this coming out soon from the Wisconsin trip with myself, Nick Ferry and April Wilkerson. So this is a dedicated outfeed table. I did cut these, the uh, extended the miter gauge slots in here. So my sleds and such can slide on here. And this is like one eighth of an inch lower than the surface of the saw. Like I said, I have full access to the assembly table now on all sides. And this is the smallest gap right here. And it's two and a half feet. Everything else is way more than two and a half feet all the way around it. So I've got plenty of room over here, a lot more than what I had before. 
Uh, it's a lot easier to move around. Every one of the tools has a lot of access in the front of them. Uh, full access in the front of this tool. It's on a mobile base so it can slide out if needed. This is always moving around because I like the cart. Like if I'm over at the lathe, I'll bring the cart closer to me because it's an air filter cart and it does a great job. Um, but it is in this location from now on, I guess. Um, and it can be moved easily to have more in-feed, more out-feed. Same with the jointer here. This has got way more in-feed and out-feed than what I typically use. However, if I need to move it around, I can do so to get larger capacity for the in-feed and out-feed. And <clears throat> the Cyclone, uh, I kind of barricaded it over here in the corner to get the best access of the space, uh, which is fine because I can open the garage door to change the, uh, to empty the can, which is what I would do anyway, regardless of its position. And I've got all kinds more room in here. Um, look how much, this is all of the uh, dust collection stuff that I've removed from the system. So I'm gonna put all of this probably up there somewhere, but I've removed quite a bit of dust collection from the system just by rearranging once again. And the only thing that is not 100% hooked up are these two tools. So this hose right here, I just set it here a second ago, uh, it's on a blast gate and I can use this to hook it up to the jointer, which it'll probably hooked up, be hooked up to the jointer the vast majority of the time. And then when I need to use the planer, I can just pick it up and set it into place, which is what I'd have to do anyway in my last setup because this always fell apart the way I had it previously. So that's no big deal whatsoever. The bandsaw is no longer on dust collection because this particular dust collection port on the bottom of the bandsaw doesn't hardly do anything at all. So I want to rig up some, toy, some type of shop vac setup to be like right at the bottom of the insert plate down here. So this is going to be a uh, shop vac dust collection tool from, from now on, I think. Uh, but that's this right here and my workbench are the only two items that are not on a mobile base. So I kind of had to think a little bit more about its placement and it, I think it's good right there. There's still access for the planer for in feed and out feed and I can roll it around, that's fine. And the cart for the lathe can be manipulated all the way around this, this corner here, depending on the camera angle, whatever. So I'm cool with that. And like I said, the lathe is over here into this corner, which is back where it originally began. I tried to move it closer to the dust collector because of how much mess it makes in my last setup. However, it just makes so much of a mess that the dust collection really doesn't even matter. And you just sweep it up, conveniently located next to the broom. So nothing changed over here. Still the same workbench, same tool wall. And that wall is the same as well. But yeah, I, I built an outfeed table, dedicated outfeed table, got rid of the plywood cart, and now I have this really nice, fully accessible uh, assembly table in the middle of my shop. And I really like it. It's given me so much more access around, uh, around everything, really, to move around as needed and to position the camera as needed as well. So uh, a few shop changes, nothing crazy drastic. Uh, do, do need to find a place for this and once I get rid of all this stuff I want to make a three shelf cart of some sort just kind of like the outfeed table but to go down here to store my sleds and jigs in so they just are readily accessible right there next to the table saw so that's that I do want to redo the uh, clamp rack in a orientation in which the clamps start at the wall and come out rather than going left to right. It'll take up a little bit less space, which I'm not entirely worried about the space. I don't necessarily need wall space right there, but they will be stored in such a way where they won't fall off. This is starting to have stuff fall off on me. And um, it's just a design that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So anyway, a new exciting slate to work uh, work from. So as you guys may know, this is not the first time I've changed my shop around. I've had six or seven different 
layout changes in this particular space. And that's just something that happens with a lot of shops. As you work, you realize that uh, not all of your initial ideas worked out properly or they could be approved upon. So if you've got some ideas to change around your shop, then uh, don't be afraid to just move some stuff around. If, if it doesn't work out, then you move stuff back. And at the most, you, you've lost three or four hours or however long it takes you to do it. Um, this was a way for me to be productive and knock a lot of things off my mental list as far as how things work here in my shop. And I really like it. Got a lot more egress around all of the tools and I've actually gained horizontal working space because I now have access to all four sides of my assembly table plus I've added a dedicated outfeed table so I don't need to move things off of my assembly table to use it as an outfeed table. So, uh, you know, my last setup was working pretty well but I thought I could improve upon it and you know what, getting rid of that plywood cart that I had really made a huge difference just in, it, just, just in that alone. Uh, that was a lot of dedicated space for little return. Uh, just having a little bit of plywood on hand. Eh. Uh, you live and learn, not every, you live and learn, not everything works out as it was originally intended. So anyway, hope you guys have a great next couple days. Uh, I will be back next week with a project, of course. And you guys take care. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.